Hi, this is Lenny with Free Market Media Group, and what we're going to talk about today is a really great plugin for WordPress called the Featured Content Gallery. Uh, it's what you're looking at right now on the screen, this really elegant slideshow that also gives you the benefit of having a really nice kind of slide-in caption. So it's called the Featured Content Gallery, and uh, what I'm going to assume in this tutorial is that you understand how to install a WordPress plugin, and we're going to go over real quick where to put the code to make it work, but that's not really the focus. focus is actually how to get these pictures on the front page um, or on the site where you have your, uh, where you want them to show up. So I've already logged into WordPress. I have a couple different tabs open. So let's go to the Feature Content Gallery tab. And where you're going to find this is you're going to find it under Settings, under Settings, and then the Feature Content Gallery. So we go there. So I'm really quickly going to go over what you see in here. First thing is you would enter this code right here that I'm highlighting. That would be the code that would go on your template page wherever you want the feature content gallery to show up. Okay, um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. Um, have someone else do it for you because that's not what we're covering today. So how do we how do we decide what's going to show up uh, in the feature content gallery? Well, you have two options. You have over here on the left, you can select the button that says select here to use category selection. And now what this can be is if you want to have a featured category where posts that you want to feature would all go in there. So maybe it's not every new post, maybe it's posts from multiple categories. When you add them to the blog, you also add them in a second category called featured and it will automatically display. The box below that you can choose a number, it's the two is the minimum has to at least have two, so it has something to switch to for it to work. Um, I have that blank for now because I'm actually using the other option on this particular blog, individual post or page IDs. And now I'm going to show you how to find these numbers, how to find the number of the post or the page to put in here. Uh, I like this because it gives me really full control and I like to do things, especially for my clients with pages if they're highlighting Maybe they're selling something, they want to have a special, um, I've even routed images from the feature content gallery into a shopping cart for special items and things like that. But on this particular blog, we're on this site we're doing to the about page and a couple of blog posts. And now the third, another option you have here is you can actually uh, check that button to randomize the posts or the page ID display so it won't always be in the same order. All right, let's jump down to the next spot the gallery style area. So first box is the gallery within pixels. And now this tells you how wide your image is uh, for this particular site. We've gone with 638 pixels wide, 420 pixels high. And then the overlay, the text overlay, that, that dark area, let's go back and look, that rises up from the bottom, that is 80 pixels wide there. So there's your 80 right in there. So then you have the choice in the next column for gallery border color or background color. I'm not using any on these, but the border color if you want to have a nice border around the image. And the background's nice if you're doing a, um, a bigger splash of color in the background. Uh, so you have some choices there. And then the text color. Um, text color we're choosing is white. That shows up nice against the, uh, the gallery background, which is actually going to show in black as a default. Um, anyway, where it says gallery background color, that's the background of that um, the little part that slides in. So next section, slide transition times and other options. So the first one, slide display and duration, the default is nine seconds, and that's a pretty good time. If you, uh, if you make it much faster, it kind of zips through really quick. This gives you time to read your caption before it moves through. And so that's a pretty good speed. So I leave that one. Um, the fade time is 0.5 seconds or 500 milliseconds. That works pretty good. Carousel button name says featured content. Let's go take a look here. Uh, that is this button right here, featured content. Now you can name that anything you like. Featured posts from the blog, specials, whatever you want to put in there. And then the next field is number of words to display in a text overlay and we're going here with 30, not a lot of words. 100 would be the default, you could do that. And so then the next 
area you have your, there are four different transition types. There's the fade, which you're seeing. There's a continuous horizontal, which just slides the image from right to left. There's a left slide with a fade, and that moves from right to left. And as it slides, it actually fades out. And then the continuous vertical, which actually slides from bottom up through them out of the way. Uh, the last section is the required custom fields. And the custom fields we're going to be putting into the blog post or the page area. And it allows you to add some extra things to the page. And I'll show you that when we get there. Uh, the two key pieces of information we want are this one, article image, and the one below it, featured text. Uh, the article image is actually the image that you want to use in the rotator. The featured text is text that you want to use in the, in the rotator on that little slide up caption instead of just pulling the first 30 words from the post or the page itself. So let's go take a look at the uh, at a page. So uh, I already have a tab open for the about page which is um, one of the pages in the featured content gallery. And um, first, remember I showed you, let's go back to this tab here, I showed you the numbers. So number one, number two, number 24. So if we go back to the, to the edit page, you can see that the post number is actually post number two. And so that is our number right here, number two. So that means this page will be outputting to your feature content gallery. Like I said, there are two fields. One of them is article image, and this is the image that you're telling, you're telling what image you want to be attached to this post or this page to be displaying on the home page. We already have it in there. And now the question is, so where did that, where did that URL for that image come from? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to assume you know how to add a blog post and how to add an image. So let's go to Upload Insert, click up Insert Image, and then we're going to go to Gallery. And there's one image in the gallery, and let's click Show. And if you go to Link URL, uh, and if there's nothing there, you would actually click the File URL, and that gives you the URL of the file, of the image file. So you would just copy that, and then we can just cut that because we don't we're not even inserting it so you just want the URL and you can close this and then what you would do is assuming that is blank you would just paste that in there um, and hit update and now with Lindsay's what we're doing here is she's pulling the first 30 words or so out of her blog post and that's what's going in the rotator you could also add a custom field and I didn't really mention this, but custom fields is an area on every post or edit page page. And it gives you opportunity to put a lot of different things in there. And so this was already set up in a drop down. So I have article image and I have feature text there. Um, if you don't already have those, you're setting up for the first time. If you're setting this up for the first time, you would hit enter new. And it gives you the opportunity to put that in and we would type in featured text and hit add custom field and there's got to be something in there so here is some text uh, and we can spell here is some text you would add that field and now the feature text will be here is some text well this is a live um, actually a live site so I'm not going to change that right now but that would put your text and your image then you would just hit update and when you do that you go to the page and that's where it goes so I hope that helped explain how to use the feature content gallery uh, come back for more we're gonna cover every little piece of WordPress in the tutorials to come